Representative Spear, thanks so much for joining us. Uh, you were arrested today for obstructing traffic. Uh, is this your first arrest, by the way? It is my first arrest. Um, and it couldn't be for a more important issue because personal autonomy uh, is critical to our future. Uh, this is the first time in the history of our country that a right has been taken away from people in this country. And the Dobbs decision is horrific on so many levels. And we're seeing it happen when 10-year-old girls have to be transported across state lines uh, to get an abortion after a rape. Uh, we had a number of healthcare professionals who joined us today um, who talked about the serious emergency circumstances that occur when physicians are reluctant to do um, a what's called a DNC, which is you know the typical for an abortion. It's also the same procedure that's done when you miscarry. So all of these circumstances now are are going to play havoc uh, on the lives of women and families. And so acts of civil disobedience like we engaged in today is the beginning of our efforts, much like the suffragists did uh, when they would chain themselves to the White House fence or the civil rights movement when a young 15-year-old girl, even before Rosa Parks, uh, Claudette Colvin, who actually took a seat in a bus that was um, set aside for white people. It also seems personal for you, this fight after the Supreme Court decision, is it? It's absolutely personal for me on a number of levels. Um, I had uh, a number of miscarriages. I had an abortion at 17 weeks and I have a young daughter. And I can't think straight when I recognize that she's gonna have less rights than I had when I was her age. And I find that not just offensive, I find it um, wrongheaded. I find it as a, a breach of what this country is all about. And the Supreme Court has made a horrific mistake here. And it's important for Congress to take actions. The House has now um, twice passed the Women's Health uh, Protection Act. It goes to the Senate. Um, and for decades now, uh, marriage equality was not an issue that we could get passed in the House, and we did it today. So I think that these acts of um, civil disobedience that are nonviolent are very important.